I don't know who this is, okay? Egg brother, God bless you. Congratulations. I don't know who you are. Positivity you. Praying for you, bro. Positivity out the window. Who who decided this mother? Who the f decided this? Her loss. Utopia. Metro Boomin. My nigga. My nigga. Finally, have a look in the mirror moment and say, Ah, oh, oh, it's not about us. No. Adults are out, nigga. Yeah, it's a good one. Niggas got pocket pocket uh, handkerchiefs in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Niggas got fly on. Musicians, good, musicians good, are out. Yeah, real execs, business people. You little f shut up for a change. I'm so sick of these niggas. We only get to do this once a year. When, listen, <laughs> we gotta rush behind Killer Mike. Killer Mike won. Yeah, we gotta yeah. let these niggas know what the f we really think. He won and ain't sit down with a single streamer. Little mother. It worked. That part. Not, not one of you not niggas. Not one. Niggas like, who? Yeah, him. We knew who he was. Yeah, we respect you. Yo, oh, broke the whole console. Oh, he smashed everything. Yo, we feel that. Yo, we feel that. But niggas is getting dressed and bringing women out tonight. All you incels. And the bass player. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Every single time. Somebody starts something. It don't even be me. It be them. They talk about me, so let's talk about them. This is what we have here is a case of old nigga syndrome, my nigga. Listen to me. I want to voice my opinion. I'm going to voice my opinion. 100%, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And that's some people's problem. Y'all don't ever let the young niggas flourish. The young niggas think utopia is fire. Let the young niggas think utopia is fire. And y'all not being able to comprehend is because it's just simply a new, a new wave of niggas, bro. That's what it is. Shout out, shout out to Killer Mike. You feel what I'm saying? Um, bro, but but look, if I think they should have won that, okay, let it win. Nigga, I'm in my room just talking, bro. You feel me? It's always the young niggas this, the young niggas that. And you say it don't come off and hating, but bro, that, come on, dog. I want to invite the cool streamers. I don't know nothing about streamer. Mm -hmm. I want to invite Kyle out. Thank you for mm -hmm. saying my name. Kyle, I yeah. yeah, I know your guy. I know your guy and weird, but listen, I want to come to the room. I want to bring you a broom because Atlanta still won. You feel <laughs> yeah. me? Yeah. However, however it go, young player, just know I, I, I rock with you too, and I'm cheering for all of us. You know yeah, what I mean? Because right, right. I, I think that. From a cultural standpoint, this is the cult. This is the center of the black world culturally, mm -hmm. and um, however, uh, whoever's winning, we winning. Yeah. So you know, I just want to just tell him that, like, yeah, I just I, blamed it on the Gen Z when I when I watched the video. Well, I ain't blaming it on nothing. Like, I love y'all. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, if, if if you if you know if you ever get treated bad, I'm, I'm right there for you. You know what I mean? So I know how I go though. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I liked Luke and the Two Live Crew, my mama was more into Salt and Pepper. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I get it, but I listen to both bands. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna just say the young people out there. It ain't nothing wrong with expanding. It ain't nothing wrong with trying something else. It ain't nothing wrong, you know, with, with just giving, you know, having, you don't have to be always in the crowd. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was a, a kid in the South. I listened to Ball and G. I listened to UGK when he was with Black Sabbath. And you have to become culturally rich, too. Mm. Like, I know the people that you watch and you like and that stream and you agree with them and they agree with you. That's a good feeling to be a part of that. But bring something else to the club. Be the person to say, let me turn you on to this. If you love Andre 3000, you should know who Portishead is. Well, why? Because Portishead affected Andre 3000 in 95, 96 in a way that radically changed the way he approached music. So you should always want to know what's the source of the source. Teach him. You know what I mean? So so I'm just saying, give, give uh, a big broad shot. If you don't rock with it, don't rock with it. But, um, you know, I won. And I'm going to win again. I'm going <laughs> to win again. And I'm going to win again. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and as much as people say they don't watch the Grammys no more, myself included, it still finds a way to be one of the main conversations online when it comes to who won what award, who should have won what an award, who should have not been nominated at all, and things like that. And when it comes to the rap, hip hop, urban, and black side of the game, the main thing that got talked about this week was Killer Mike 
winning all three, getting a clean sweep on his nominations, one of the awards being Best Rap Album. Also, Killer Mike getting arrested and walked through the crypto arenas with the handcuffs behind his back. And also what Jay-Z had to say about the Grammys and the way they select certain winners and everything like that. And I had a link in the description where you can watch the clips in the beginning in full at from Kasanat Stream. Also, Joe Budden Podcast, where they responded to what Kasanat had to say. And then Kasanat responded back to what they had to say. And then Killer Mike coming on to the ball alert and is giving what he thought about what Kasanat had to say. And what kicked all this off is when Kasanat said what he said about Killer Mike in the reference of, hey, I don't know who this guy is. I don't know this. But I feel like Utopia should have won. And there's different ways to look at that. You can be like, well, hey, that's his personal opinion. Or you can look at it like, well, bro, if you ain't even heard the dog, you don't know dog music, how can you even say that Utopia should win when you haven't given his album a chance to even critique it? That auto automatically disqualifies his your opinion on the situation. Well, Killer Mike kept it cool like, hey, I was young at one point in time. I was that guy listening to certain music with my parents. But at times, nigga, I still learned to go listen to other things and get other perspectives and give everything a shot before I just jump out there with it and things of that nature. And he's absolutely correct when he say that. And sometimes it don't come off as what you say, it's how you say it. Joe, he on the podcast, he popping his ish. He's already painted as the old hater. So when he say what he said, niggas gonna really just look for them type of words and the delivery, the energy he had with it. I done seen Joe give Casa not shout outs before and shout out the younger dudes doing their thing. But I get what Joe was saying. It's just the way he was saying it. And then when you say this, you little F and the F niggas and y'all this and that, you little streaming niggas, he did it without y'all. What Joe was saying, well, hey, the conversation in the game is the older generation, niggas that's late 30s, early 40s, or uh, late 40s or 50s, they washed up. They old niggas now. They not needed here no more. Joe and them is saying, well, hold on, nigga. This is the night for those people. Y'all got y'all time and everything like that. This is a different type of element. This is a different type of energy. Niggas is coming up here clean. Niggas is coming up here with suits on. This is about really doing the pro productivity of this thing and everything like that. Also, they read off the list of the older generation actually winning and getting a lot of recognition this night. And it's because of niggas really put time in, niggas put their grind in. Hey, if they want to get that award, to me, the awards is opinions, it's subjective. I, if you don't never get a Grammy, it don't mean you're not great to me. If you never win a Grammy, it don't mean you ain't one of the coldest lyricists or one of the best song makers. It's all subjective. But I get what niggas is saying. When it come to Kasanat, he looking at it like, nigga, I'm the young nigga, bro. How y'all jumping out there like that on me and things of that nature? I'll tell you like this, it's all subjective. It's all for entertainment. But I do like to keep the standards clear. If you gonna critique music and give an opinion about music, I do feel when it comes to rap and hip hop, you do gotta listen to it first. Really, that's anything in life. You gotta really break some, you gotta listen to somebody's stuff to really give it an all the way an opinion of what you think about it in its full entirety. Me, I'ma tell you like this, bro. I grew up on everything, nigga. I was a nigga that was jamming Ace Time music. I'm jamming West Coast music. Had to listen to gospel, nigga. Ain't had no choice. Had to listen to R&B. Ain't had no choice. Whenever my tea laying in the kitchen cooking, the music is playing for the whole crib. I can't say turn it down, nigga. This, hey, this is how I go. But when I go around myself, or sometimes with them, we jamming the latest pot. We jamming the latest biggie, nigga. We jamming the latest UGK. We jamming all that. As a young nigga out the womb, so I'm a nigga that was never grounded in things. But with the internet side of it, they got their mind set up. They'll jump out there, say this, say that. It is what it is, man. Rap, hip hop, one of the most conversated genres in the world. And this is what make it great, bro. Everybody got their difference of opinions. But I say this, for me to respect your opinion, this is me. You got to do a little bit of research and you got to have the conversation and you got to be able to take the information in for me to just say, okay, nigga, your opinion really means something now, nigga, as opposed to your opinion means something to your followers, which is cool. Niggas got they following, they followers want to hear their opinion, they weight their opinion, and that's, hey, do y'all thing. I just say, hey, get all sides of this thing and everything like that there. 
Joe, he rocked with the younger crowd too. But after that stuff that happened with the Migos, the stuff that happened with Yachty, some of the rants he put online, he gonna always be painted out as that old nigga that's being grumpy and uh, controversial joy, nigga. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.